Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to see about Linux permissions practical session. Okay, I am in, I am in root directory. To check, I have given pwd. Now, to see the contents, ls. Now, I want to go inside book directory. How can I go? cd space book. Okay, now I am in book directory, book is present in root directory. See the contents, some files are there. Okay, now what I want to do is, I want to see the, I want to change the permissions. ls space hyphen l space enter. It will show all the permissions. Now, I want to see change permissions for, I want to see only permissions for f1 file. ll space f1, ls space hyphen l space f1, anything you can use. Now, I want to change the permissions. First, I will change the permissions by using numerical method. That is change mode hyphen r seven 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 over file f1. What is this seven seven seven? First represents first seven represents read write execute four plus two plus one. That is seven. All permissions for owner. Second represents permissions for group users. Third represents permissions for other user. We have changed the permissions. Okay, I am clearing the screen. We are in this directory. Now, ll space f1. What it is showing? For f1 file, we have given all permissions. This became a executable file. That is why color also changed. Okay. Read write execute for owner, read write execute for group users, read write execute for other users. One represents number of links. Root is the owner for this user, he belongs to the group root. 6 is the size of the file and December 4th at this time this file is created. Okay. Now, I want to re reduce the permissions. How can I reduce the permissions by using the command L change mode hyphen r. I have given like this 63101 over f1. Now, see the permissions ls space f1. See 6 means read write are given for owner. Since it is a file first letter is hyphen and 3 means write and execute for group users. Read permission is not there. For other users only I have given 1 that means only execute permission is there. Read and write permissions are removed for f1 user like this we can change the permissions in numerical format. Now, let us see how to change the permissions in character format. How to change the permissions? Change mode hyphen r. I want to give all permissions for all users. u plus r w x, g plus r w x, o plus r w x over file f 1 ll space f 1. See the permissions? Now, all permissions are given to all the users. Here, u represents owner, g, pre g represents group users, o represents other users. For all these users, we have given all the five, all the permissions. Okay. Now, I want to reduce the permissions. I want to remove the permissions. How can I remove the permissions? Change mode hyphen r u minus and um, let us uh, remove execute permission g minus execute permission o minus w x that means from other users we are removing write and execute permissions over file f1 now see the permissions ls space f1 what it is showing for group users for owner read write permissions are there execute permission is removed for group users read write permissions are there execute permission is removed for other users only read permission is there, remaining permissions are removed. right? Like this, we can add permissions, we can remove permissions by using plus or minus in character permissions. Okay? Now, let us see this usage of hyphen r. Okay? See here, I am clearing the screen. We are in book directory, book is present in root directory. See the contents? There are three files. In book directory, there are three files f1, f2, f3. Now, if you see the permissions, some permissions are there for some users, some permissions are not there. Now, what I will do? I will go one step back. That means, I am in root directory. Now, these are the contents. Now, ll space book. 
okay so ll what it shows for book directory these are the permissions since it is a directory starting letter is d okay like this these permissions are there write permission is not there for group users and other users i want to give this permission how can i give the permission let us see change mode 777 book see here i have not given hyphen r ll space enter what it is showing for book directory all permissions are given all permissions for all users are there for book directory all permissions means read write execute permissions given for all users means owner group users other users but go inside uh, book directory ll see does all permissions are there for uh, f1 f2 f3 files no all permissions are not there though i have given all permissions for main directory it is not applied to contents of the directory why because i have not given hyphen r now i will go one step back i am clearing the screen i am in root directory ll now i will give change mode hyphen r 777 over directory book okay now see the contents now book directory got all the permissions anyhow previously also there now let us see the contents of book directory cd space book now ll if you see all permissions are given for all you all files sorry all permissions are given for all users over all the files understood the concept now let us see changing the ownership for that i am clearing the screen again we are in one minute we are in book directory ll space f1 it shows the permissions for f1 file this is the owner now owner of the file f1 is root he belongs to the group root i want to change the ownership okay first to see the permissions uh, ownership cat space slash etc slash pass wd so what it is showing here u1 is the owner he belongs to here u1 is the owner sorry u1 is the user he belongs to group g1 g2 g2 id is 1010 okay so let us change the ownership we are in root direct book directory ll space f1 owner is root he belongs to the group root change change ownership hyphen r u1 is to g2 for file f1 for the file f1 now owner is u1 he belongs to the group g2 okay now ll space f1 what it is showing owner was u1 he belongs to group g2 understood the concept this is how we change the ownership okay and there is one method go to system in that go to administration in that go to users and groups here you can see username his user id what is the primary group for that user okay what is the default shell for this user what is the home directory for that user this is about users if you want to see about groups it will show group names what is the id for that groups what are the group members how many users are part of this group it will show if you want to delete a particular uh, uh, for example if you want to delete a particular user how can we delete like this select delete okay yes yes okay like this a user can be delete see this now it is the groups are removed like this select remove but you cannot remove a primary group for a user for example this this group or uh, this group i will take one g2 delete you cannot remove users primary group understood the concept this is graphical way to see users and groups hope you enjoyed the session thank you very much for watching this video bye